Hi, you guys. Welcome back to day two of my sew along for McCall's 8255, this really cute uh, tulip hem woven top. Uh, like I said, today is day two where we are going to be constructing our bodice. Yesterday's video, if you missed it, was all about preparing everything. The fabric, the picking a size, making alterations, cutting the fabric and all of that stuff. So if you missed that, head over to yesterday's video. If you're caught up and you're with me, then we're just going to get sewing. Um, we have some really beautiful princess seams to sew today, shoulder seam, all of that good stuff. So we will have a finished bodice. My advice for you is to sew your lining first. If you're sewing a lining, which again, we talked about in yesterday's video, why you would need one or why you might not need one. Um, that way, if you have to make any alterations after we do a dry fit today, um, then you'll do them on the lining and it won't be as visible on the outer shell of your garment. If you are not using a lining, go ahead and sew this up with your regular fabric, obviously, and then we can make any fitting tweaks that we need to. You'll just be doing it on your regular fabric just like you would normally. Um, but without further ado, let's get to the sewing machine and start sewing this little cutie. Together. All right, so starting to work on this bodice, our very first step is to fuse the interfacing to the necklines. So a note about this um, before you head over to your iron, if you are making the version with the tulip hem, go ahead and apply the interfacing directly to your lining that you cut out yesterday. If you are making the view that has the straight hem along the bottom and you're not wanting to line the whole thing like we talked about, then you are going to cut interfacing and your self fabric, the main fabric, not your, not what would be your lining, but what would be your main fabric. You'll cut both of those um, out of these two pattern pieces and that's what you're going to interface. You're not gonna interface directly onto the front or back, you're going to interface the interfacing pieces. <laughs> Does that make sense? Um, and that is what is going to become your facing. All right. So go ahead and tackle that and then come back because our next step is to start working on the princess seams of the front. But we are going to take our front piece right side up like so. And then our side front piece um, also right sides up. And because my fabric is the same on both sides, I'm going to use my noggin really quickly, right sides up, and then I'm going to pin on the right sides just so I remember. So just putting a pin in here. So I remember which side is the right side. You can obviously write on your fabric if you want, put a sticky on there. Um, but I just always have pins readily available. And then the front piece, we know what the right side is because it doesn't have the interfacing. All right, so working one piece at a time, we are taking this, applying it like so. I think it's easier for you guys to see what's going on if I can show you the pattern piece on the front piece. All right, so we have this single notch here. We also have a single notch over here. This one on the right side of the side front piece is the princess seam. This is what ends up becoming the princess seam here. This becomes your arm side, and then this becomes your side seam. So you just have to remember that when you are doing this, you're taking the curvy, curvy edge, and that is what is getting placed right sides down. Okay, so you're gonna have a notch here and a notch here, and those are what get um, lined up. And then this notch that's up here gets lined up with this notch here, like so. All right, so that is what we are gonna be doing. We do need to do some stay stitching though, because this is such a curvy curve, um, we're going to have to do some stay stitching and some clipping just to make sure that those two curves go into each other nice and easily. Okay, so at our machines, our first step is going to be to stay stitch. And a stay stitch is just regular stitch length at the seam line just to reinforce this seam. And you're going to start at this little notch here at the top and stay stitch down until your second notch. So not the first one, but the second one. And you're going to stop there on both sides of the front. All right, stay stitching is done. I'm going to put this up here so you guys can see it. And then, like I said, the arm side up here, um, we're going to go right sides together where the pin is. The arm side goes to the top 
of the front piece and it gets placed like this, where you have your flat edges making a right angle. Okay, so I'll just do the top, then I'll come down to the first notch, completely ignoring what's happening here. So line up your notches there. Again, ignoring this, coming down to our second notch. Ignoring everything that's happening in here. Doing that. And then if you're making the tulip hem, you're not going to sew all the way down to the bottom. You are going to stop at where that is said like uh, 4B. It had like a little notch for B. So that's where I'm going to stop right in here somewhere. If you're making the straight hem version, you go all the way down to the bottom. All right, so at this point, you can see this is a little bit of like a one-to-one -one ratio. So we can go ahead and pin that. That'll be nice and easy. And then through here, we have to get these two curves to become one. So the only way to do that is to clip the front piece uh, through the raw edge up to the seam line so that the seam allowances can spread a little bit like so. You don't have to do a gajillion of them, maybe three, I think. Clipping two, but not through those, uh, that stay stitching line. So I've got three of them there. And then when you pull this apart, you can see they want to come together now. So line up your raw edges, pin, and now those curves kind of come together as one. All right, so you're gonna stitch all the way from here, all the way down to your little notch for B, then repeat for the other side of the front. All right, and when you're done with the front, this is what you should have beautiful princess seams that are nice and eased into each other in the uh, front from the inside and then from the outside isn't she cute our little uh, tulips are coming together and beautiful neckline beautiful top okay so now we need to do very similar thing for the back so we're going to be taking our back pieces right sides up which again is easy to know now because we have our interfacing done. And we are taking the side back pieces, putting those right sides up like so, pinning them to remember which side is the right side. It's real easy to get confused once you start trying to get these princess seams in. All right, and again, we are gonna go to our machines. We're gonna be stay stitching this seam, again, from this little notched corner here, all the way down to our double notches. And then once that's stay stitched, then you're gonna take the side back piece, here, I'll do it like this again, and see, you have double notches here, and that's what's gonna go to your double notches here. It's this long curve opposite of the arm side that gets placed right sides together. So you're gonna pin these, notches together, you're gonna pin this guy together. And then uh, similarly, if you're doing the tulip hem, you're gonna stop your stitching at that, um, where is it, is this back? Yeah, at these little dots that were that are right here. So you come all the way down. And then if you're doing the straight hem, you come all the way off the edge. All right, so this is how my back pieces turned out. I've obviously pressed them. Little tip, grab one of these Taylor's hams is what they're called, like 
like the ham you have at Christmas dinner. Um, I have these linked in my Amazon store. Uh, the link for that is in the description box. But basically it makes it super easy for you to um, press around curves because this thing, you know, is like a big curve. So you just put like the top of your, well, you do it upside down like this, top of your um, princess seam at the top of the tailor's ham. And then you can press around that curve nice and easily. Um, and it makes them lay really flat and beautifully. Okay, so now, believe it or not, we're sewing up side seams and shoulder seams. I think that the hardest part of this is done. I mean, maybe the zipper will be a little bit challenging, but princess seams, if you have... Um, gotten through this part, you should be very proud of yourself, you know? Um, princess seams are a bit of an advanced sewing skill, so kudos to all of us. Um, but basically, at this point, we're just doing straight uh, seams, so uh, straight stitches. So we've got right sides together of the back and the front. We are putting together our side seams and our shoulder seams and just stitching those at the 5 8 inch seam allowance. Really straightforward, nothing difficult, no curves. Okay, so at this point we are trying it on for fit and making sure that all the alterations we made previously have applied and look okay. So. As you can see, I still have a few, few issues. We have, for the most part, resolved the shoulder issue. Um, you can see how that is acting here. But now this, because I just extended it from the top edge, this is now a little bit tight and I'm getting, you know, some pulling. I would like for it to kind of sit a little bit more like this. And I think that I need to like, Kind of carve out some of that at the at the arm side in the front in order to help that lay flat okay so we're starting at the top working our way down you can see i have one breast is smaller than the other um very normal um so it might be helpful if i were to pinch out a little bit more from this particular princess seam just so that it lays nice and flat like this one does. But you can see the adjustments to the length are actually really good. My belly button is right here. Please ignore my weird tan. Um, my belly button is right here. And so that's gonna cover that up nicely. These are like the kind of high rise pants I would wear with this, but obviously like jeans or something. Um, so all of that is being covered and I don't feel exposed. Um, we can turn to the side and see now i don't have it sewn in the back i just have it pinned but we can see that the side seams are nice and straight they are in line with the side seam of the pants so all of that is looking good so i really just have a couple of issues with the front arm side and then if i stop tugging on it you can see a little bit more of the drag lines that we're getting here um, and it's really just kind of coming from this not being big enough so I'm going to adjust that here on the lining, right? And then make those adjustments to the pattern pieces. And then when I go cut out my fashion fabric, you'll never know that I had to make adjustments um, after we technically sewed part of the garment. If you want to show me your muslin, your lining, your initial version um, to see my opinion on any further alterations that you need to make, do not forget to sign up to be an, a Hem Cider. We are doing live virtual Zooms every night, 5 p.m. this week, um, so that I can look and see how you guys are progressing with the project. So tonight we would look at your linings, your shells, your kind of initial version and see what further alterations you might need. So hopefully I will see you tonight. Otherwise, moving on to day three. Give it a go, try it out, see how it fits and make any final adjustments that you're gonna make to the garments now before we move on to the rest of sewing for day three, which we will tackle tomorrow. And it's mostly the zipper the zipper and kind of attaching the lining and doing all of that stuff. So I will meet you back here tomorrow. Keep on keeping on. <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow.